And what's going on, everybody? This is Vinny Millet with Milletti Law, the strongest name in law. The date now is December 6th. It is a Monday. Um, this video, well, first of all, first and foremost, remember, make sure you subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel, okay? Go to subscribe below. It's a little red button. I need subscribers. I'm, I actually have 100 subscribers, which is awesome. Okay, that's very nice. Uh, so thank you, everybody, for continuing to subscribe and following the channel and everything. Uh, the second thing I want you to do is obviously go on the website. Make sure you... Um, Sign up for the newsletter, you know, constantly dropping free stuff every single day, contents, advice, guidance, everything that you need. So certainly please uh, go out there and, you know, go ahead and connect, uh, get on the newsletter so this way you can stay in the loop. Um, this is a very short video. We're just going to be doing a real quick Q&A, uh, real quick and Maletti Law Q&A, because obviously, as a lot of you may have already know, a lot of you may know, um, that de Blasio has decided that he wants to uh, require all private enterprises, all private employees in New York City to have a vaccine mandate. And irrespective of whatever the opinion is, the question from a legal perspective is how can he do this, right? So it comes up a lot. How can he do this? So uh, I, I do, I want to ensure that everybody understands the structure because if you notice what happens, right? No one is saying they're not passing mandates on individuals, right? So they're not saying that the individual must, the individual must. They're very careful with that. So they're always tying it to a business. Um, this is done for principally two reasons. One, businesses do not have, con so constitutional protections do not apply against private enterprise. Um, the constitution applies against um public entities and the government not against profession not against private enterprise now there's a lot of case law out there that discusses that if the private enterprise is performing um, a government function then it could be treated as a government body which is something that you know you see that already with railroads you see that with the TSA which um, you know airplanes you see that with a lot of interstate commerce you know so it it, it it exists. It has, you know, the law hasn't been fully developed because um, we've never had this kind of uh, government um, involvement in lives that we've had in 2020. So the law still needs to speak on this. Um, that would probably be a Supreme Court thing because I can imagine it getting up there. So I remember the first reason why you see this is because generally speaking, constitutional protections do not apply against private enterprise. They apply against state actors, um, government actors and stuff like this. Uh, the second element also is, and this is another thing people don't seem to realize, but a corporation is a creature of statute. A business is a creature of statute. So what does that mean? That means that you are not, you do not have a right to run, you know, principally you do, right? Remember, big libertarian, big personal individualism, everyone has a principal right to, you know, run their business the way they decide, make money the way they like to make money, whatever the case is. But if generally speaking, corporate formalities are creations of the state. If they're creations of the state, then they're subject to state guidance and they're subject to state regulation. The state is permitted to do reasonable regulation on ent on private entities. It's all part of the state's regulatory power because why? Because corporations are creatures of statute. The business and corporations law, the limited liability law, they're all creations of statute. So you have certain protections because the law creates this um, legal fiction which applies and creates these business organizations and structures. So keep in mind that one of the principal reasons why they're able to do what they do is because government is permitted under the law to um, act on reasonable, to act and create reasonable and regulate reasonable regulations and reasonable guidelines and structures. So technically, unfortunately, the courts in New York have um, seen the vaccine requiring vaccines as a reasonable regulation. They've also seen mask mandates as reasonable regulation, you know, irrespective of, again, irrespective of what the science says of what your personal opinion is on it. I mean, this is what we're dealing with here. So the point of this video is just really to just explain to everybody why this happens, how they have a right to do this a, because gov because uh, private enterprises are not um, subject to constitutional restrictions. 
only if they are considered government sponsored entities or the performing a government function can they be subject to constitutional restrictions for instance like i said the railroads and the airline and the airplane companies and the second item is because you do not have a right to a corporation you do not have a right to an llc you do not have a right to a partnership these are things that are created by statute and under and because they're created by statute they're creation of government of the legislature therefore the legislature is allowed to reasonably set guidelines for those businesses those are the two overarching things why this is permitted to happen. Again, you know, whether or not you agree with it or not is different. This is just to explain the, the legal basis behind it. So it's not confusing to anybody. So, of course, if you have any questions, certainly let me know. Um, go to the website, send me an email, drop me an email. Actually, I'm, I'm very uh, impressed with those of you that do send me emails like this and comments. I'm, real, I'm flattered, actually. I'm very excited. I'm flattered. Uh, I would love to be more active online, but I'm blocked all over the place. So I don't really know what that's going to happen with that. But, you know, I'd love to be more active online. I'm just not, unfortunately. And, you know, again, if you have comments in below, certainly more than happy to help them out. Reach out to us whenever you want. And as always, you know, yours and laws love and lifts. And keep fighting. We'll get through this. We'll get through all the stuff in New York. So little by little, have a good day.